For our first video in Physics Week, I'm here with Bashar al Kaize, Lead of Radiotherapy Imaging and Research and Development here at the Leeds Cancer Centre. Bash is going to give us a brief overview about the technologies that are used to diagnose and plan radiotherapy treatments and discuss the role he plays in these processes. So Bash, I'd love to hear more about what your job entails. Thank you, Catherine. Well, um, as a team leader, I work very closely with highly uh, experienced radiotherapy physicists. Uh, our main objective or our main responsibility will be working around uh, all uh, imaging uh, modality or uh, imaging related radiotherapy aspects to help us with the, uh, the workflow or the pathway your patient go through during treatment plan. So, for example, uh, our, my team or our team will look after machines like this one, which, which is the CT simulator. And the CT simulator helps us to identify or help the doctors as well as the uh, physics team to identify where the tumor is and uh, also identify where health tissue and organs are present to, to avoid. So, can you tell us a bit more about the CT simulator please Bash? Can you tell us a bit about how it works? Okay, so this is a CT simulator which is effectively very similar to a normal CT diagnostic scanner. Uh, with other features on uh, functionalities. For example, we have here a laser that this laser system helps us to position the patient. The couch here, for example, helps us to position the patient exactly as on the treatment position. So the idea of scanning the patient on a CT simulator is we are trying to replicate or simulate the treatment uh, 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 during radiotherapy. So the CT scanner will help us to scan the patient and therefore identify target volumes and organs of test guys, as I said earlier. So I guess without these machines, without these scanners that allow us to visualize the patient, we'd struggle to find the tumor and understand its location in the body. Precisely. The main objective of radiotherapy, Catherine, is to, to be able to maximize the dose to uh, target volume, which is where the cancer tissues are, and minimize the radiation dose to surrounding tissues such as organs at risk. The CT scanner and other imaging modality should help us to, uh, to, to uh, be able to achieve this. That sounds like pretty clever stuff. And do you think there'll be any developments in the way you do your work in 2018? Or will you always use this machine? Yes, there are many developments currently happening in radiotherapy. One example is the use of MR scanner rather than a CT sim, uh, scanner, and that by itself will enhance the image quality and it will help us to be more accurate with defining uh, tumor volumes versus organs at risk. Well, Bash, it's really interesting to hear about what technology we might be using in the future. And I've learned so much about how we begin to plan radiotherapy treatments after a cancer diagnosis. So do you have any other imaging tools you'd like to talk about that you use to help plan radiotherapy or treat patients? There are many imaging tools or modalities we currently use for radiotherapy, such as PET-CT and functional MR. But I can give you one simple example that we heavily rely on or we use for radiotherapy, which is the online treatment Combine CT. Combine CT is normally used replicating what we do here, but on the treatment machine, which will help us to verify the accuracy of patient positioning during day-to-day -day treatment uh, during the course of radiotherapy. Wow. So during the treatment as well, we're also able to implement these technologies to ensure that we deliver the maximum dose of radiotherapy to the cancer tissue while sparing as much healthy tissue as possible. Thank you for your time, Bash, and for helping us to understand a bit more about how radiotherapy is planned. Thank you, Catherine. No problem.